Hey guys, how's it going? Sazen here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to talk about a PvP build specifically for crowd control and DPS purposes. Stay tuned! Okay, G. So for today's video, we are responding to a request coming from one of our viewers and his request was if we have a build that is used for Rite of Exile, uh, for Vault Raids, or if we have an Ultimate CC Crusader. Now this specific build will be doing two things and will be applicable for those uh, scenarios. So the first thing that this build will make is it's a CC monster meaning you can actually stun lock or crowd control lock your enemy if you time your skills correctly while dishing out damage it is enough for you to actually become a carry in battlegrounds now for the vault raids uh, i also use this about 80 to 90 percent of the time depending on the agreement that i have with the party mates if you're fulfilling a dps role go ahead and use this one it's going to be applicable for you um, but if you are going to be fulfilling the tank role, then of course, you know, go to your armory and switch to build. The so, kit is very, very versatile. You can be a tank, you can be a support, you can be a carry, right? You can be a, a range class, you can be smack in the middle. So it really depends upon your game style. But uh, again, in response to that request, we're going to be focusing on this particular build, which will deal crowd control primarily and then second damage. Okay, so let's jump into the equipment set, very similar to my tank build, where it will start off with the helmet, which will increase your shield charge by 1. You need the shoulders that will increase your damage by 10% a few seconds after using Falling Sword, therefore making it a buff, which again, uh, Little Lance Falling Sword makes it uh, a charge for 3 times. The right side equips, I have the Iron Suzerain for the Vortex capability of Condemn, making it a CC component. And then for the pants, we're replacing the range of Condemn. And this is very powerful because not only it hits hard, but also it provides a pretty steady crowd control whenever you hit the enemy using your horse. For the shield, I finally got the better rhythm. Thank you, thank you. Uh, after hours of playing, so I finally got the Condemned Damage increase by 10, 3% for every enemy hit for the maximum of 15. You can actually feel the damage difference here. Okay, jumping into the green set items, notice that I'm already sitting at the 150 mark. What that means is that now I can use the ring slots to get set items. So primarily, we're still using the V2's Urge set. So 4 set V2's. So that you can get the attack speed 30% uh, for 3 seconds for every buff. And then for the ring, I'm going to be using a mount banks or the untouchable mount bank set. Two pieces. I haven't farmed the second ring yet, uh, but that's the plan. That we can get the shield every time we take damage. A little bit tankier so that I can be a little bit more aggressive. So let's jump into the skill sets. Primary skill for mobility and as a starter buff would be Falling Sword. And then I have my first CC uh, skill, which is Shield Charge. This has two charges. And you can use this to either um, stun your enemy when you hit them towards a, an obstacle or a wall. Or you can use the charge to bring your opponent to your team's side. So it's a lot easier for you to kill them. Condemn is your third, uh, sorry, your second CC skill. It's a gather slash knockback, or in this case, knock in uh, type of mechanism. And then you have your drawing quarter, which will make it uh, trample enemies uh, or knock them over when uh, you hit them. Okay. So the combo would be you buff and then you shield charge and then you condemn right before you go to your location and then of course you key in your normal attacks and then you use your drawing quarter so that you can chase your enemies away or you can use it to go back out of the clash and uh, heal yourself i'm still using punish for pvp 
so that I can get the block chance by 30% for 2 seconds. Okay, so let's jump into the PvP clip and then we'll see this uh, build in action, uh, Battlegrounds. See you in a few.
Yan, 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 yan. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the PvP clip. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised as to how much of a synergy the skill rotation uh, created. Uh, very high uptime because of the low cooldowns. Uh, if you're interested in using this build, uh, a couple of tips would be uh, map awareness. Uh, so that you would know how many people are going to be joining the clash. Uh, second tip would be try to avoid overextending. Uh, I recognize the gameplay is a little bit aggressive and that's fine. Uh, but make sure that you are not too far away from your teammates and that they cannot help you anymore. At the end of the day, this is still a team-based uh, game. Uh, third and final tip would be uh, try to create a proactive approach in terms of dishing out your crowd control. Uh, this is not a tank build, so if you get CC first, you're going to be a sitting duck. But if you time your skills and position your skills um, correctly, you'll be able to do uh, the crowd control combo first. Uh, and if you'll be able to do that, let me know in the comments below uh, if it worked for you. Uh, again, shout out to the person who requested for this build, uh, Mr. Gabriel Antonio Amisola. Um, if you guys have any other build requests or something that you're interested to see, put it in the comment box below uh, and then um, we'll see what we can do. Uh, thank you very much for spending time with me guys. Um, please do not forget to like and subscribe uh, to the channel and hit the bell notification button for more videos. Uh, until then, uh, maraming salamat and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.